Keep Mark. You can see his vision everywhere in downtown Portland. Here's News Channel 8's Joe Smith. 87 summers. <laughs> At 87 years old, for Melvin Pete Mark, leaving a mark was his destiny, something he didn't know when his dad, Lewis, asked him to visit Portland in 1948 to look at some property he was interested in buying. Why don't you just go out and see the city and see what you think? Today, he acknowledges his father was also a psychiatrist of sorts, nudging him into the family business the without Pete ever knowing it. Because if he had said to me, you got to go in the, uh, the business, I would have run the other direction. But he fell in love with the Rose City. There's a quality of people in Portland that you just don't find anywhere else. His first real estate project was renovating the Loyalty Building at 3rd and Alder, a deal that was the start of his loyalty to the city. Investments in historic downtown buildings became the cornerstone of this one-man company. Then came the Cascade and the Yeon buildings, and then the Oregon Pioneer Building, home to Huber's restaurant. And I had a chance with a good architect of redoing those buildings. And that appealed to me. I, I liked that. And so did the city. As the company grew, so did Pete's desire to expand into developing modern buildings. And he did it in a very big way, a several block project that stretched the company's resources, the Crown Plaza. If it had been a failure, I wouldn't be sitting here today. <laughs> But more important than developing commercial space in Portland, at last count, three million square feet, for Pete, it's the importance of family. To me, the family is the most important thing. And when that family works, that's your wealth. The love of Pete's life was Mary. They lost touch for a while. Pete was in Portland and Mary was back in New York until a chance sighting at a Christmas party brought them back together. She was across the room in an apartment of a friend of hers and she made a beeline for me and I made a beeline for her and three days later we were engaged. It was a partnership of 57 years that left an indelible mark on Oregon. Together they helped raise 125 million dollars, much of it their own money, to save the Portland Art Museum. Our name is on a building and that was the third drive. And they helped give Portland its living room for everyone to enjoy. At the time, it was very controversial. So they couldn't find a businessman that would head the square. But I thought their vision was very good, so I stuck my neck out <laughs> and, and was the first chairman of the board. And I loved it. I still love that square. I'm still on their board, and I think they're doing a phenomenal job. It's one of the 40 great squares now of the world. And Pete's generosity and leadership has been instrumental in giving new momentum at the Oregon Historical Society. The contributions of the Mark family will continue. In 2001, Pete turned the leadership of the company over to his son, Jim, with lessons from his father. Just that, you know, your word is your bond and your name is so important to the long going legacy of, of the family and the company. But for Pete, there is always just one more project he wants to bring to life. My final bow on a building will be the food market because that's a huge undertaking. I mean, when you talk about three blocks. It's the James Beard public market. Pete was called into duty to chair the capital campaign. As far as I'm concerned, that's probably going to be my swan song unless I go longer. I mean, who, who knows it did today with all the medical stuff they can do. <laughs> and for all that Pete's accomplished and contributed to Oregon, he's the first to tell you. It's thanks to others that have helped him along the way. I want to be sure that, that people know that you don't do those things alone. You've got to have really talented people around you. All wonderful people. Thank you for joining us. And thanks to the Oregon Historical Society for helping us put these stories together. We'll see you soon.